All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're going to take a look at your divine timing message. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to Jeanette for the donation today um, on PayPal. I didn't get a chance to reach out to you, but I will. <clears throat> it's kind of late tonight. We'll be sending you a message, but I just want to say thank you so much for that. Y'all beware of scammers. They're out here. They're taking full advantage. You know, uh, that's what they do when people are down and out. They take advantage. I saw them today posting uh, something about a giveaway and things like that. And it's not me. So scammers, scammer alert, report them if you see them. You know, the one thing about when you are tapped in spiritually, um, there's no off switch. Like you can kind of ground yourself and ignore messages and things like that, but it doesn't really turn it off. It doesn't really turn away. Um, today I had a moment where it was, today was a particularly hard day because I had to deal with business stuff and affairs and, you know, that side of, you know, losing someone was not easy. And I just want to tell you all this quick story. Uh, when I was on the phone with the lady I was doing a business call with, well, what happened was it was a Zoom meeting and she was late. And so I was sitting there waiting for the lady to get on the Zoom call and she was late. And so a minute passed by, two minutes passed by, three minutes passed by. And then instantly I was like, oh my God, I hope nothing's wrong with her mom. You know, and, and then I thought, oh, you know, Chelsea, that's the trauma saying something. I mean, you know, me saying that through trauma. <laughs> but then I stopped a second and I said, no, something's wrong with her mom. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, wait, wait a minute. Like Chelsea, calm down. You know, that's just you, you know, having anxiety, but that thought kept coming in my head. But then, then like two more minutes passed by and the lady got on the phone. She was all perky and happy and everything. And I was like, oh, telling myself, okay, you're really overacting. You're tripping. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the trauma, right? We get like 30 minutes into the phone call and this sound starts going off and I didn't think anything of it. I mean, I heard the sound, but I didn't think of anything of it because she kept talking and she kept going on, on with the meeting, the business meeting. And then it went on again and then went off a third time. And then she jumped up and she was like, oh my gosh. She was like, my mom's life alert bell just went off. And I was like, Oh my fucking God. It scared me. I didn't even say anything. She was like, I got to go. And her assistant took over the, the rest of the phone call. But I was like, oh my God. And I just been on my mind all day wondering, you know, about that lady. But it just goes like, and I read something about when you lose someone, like how your intuitive senses, just everyone, not even if you do this, just everyone, your intuitive senses are very heightened because you're connected more to the spiritual realm, to the spiritual side. I mean, when I'm ready to talk about it, I'm going to tell you guys about the dream I had um, predicting what happened. Well, they gave me a date. I had a dream about the date and it was the wrong month, but the right day. And um, the 17th, which is my birthday, is a very popular number in my family. My mother passed away on August 17th. My grandfather was born on September 17th. My great grandmother was born on May 17th. Her daughter died on May 17th it's, we have a lot of 17ths in, um, my family, um, and sevens in general. My grandfather died on the 27th of May. So I wonder what that could be and what that could be about. I'm going to explore that. And you guys let me know if you have any, I think we may have talked about this before, but if you have any weird coincidences, coincidences, I call it coincidences, nothing in this world is coincidence. So I know it means something. Um, but if you have any weird doings like that in your family, where you have a lot of people born on a particular day or who pass on a particular day, let me know if you know what that means. If there's anything that you found or researched that that could be about, because I'm curious because I'm involved because my birthday is on the 17th. So I just wonder. All right. So anyways, that's just me talking a little bit. Let's take a look here and see what this message is about for you, Aries. What is this divine timing message about for Aries? Let's take a look and we'll make these quick and to the point. Just give us one card here from the tea leaf. One or two cards. Let's see. 
You have the boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. All right, we'll pull one more. Recognition, reward, or for merit. Okay, makes plenty of sense. All right, so what is this divine timing message here for Aries? Sun, moon, <clears throat> Venus, and rising. What is this divine time when this is Richard Gary? Thank you so much. <clears throat> One more. What is this about for Aries? All right. We have the full card that kind of came like this in reverse. It fell on top of the basket, which is recognition, reward for merit. What else do we have here? We have the Ace of Cups. New beginnings, new love, a new relationship, um, and a blessing of that. This is something divinely orchestrated from the universe, from God, excuse me. We have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles here. That is the increase your efforts here. Collaborations. This could either be collaborations with um, people investing, um, co-creating together, or this could be co-creation with your spirit guides, your spirit team, whoever you're connected to. But this is tangible. Whatever the create, whatever the co-creating is, it's creating something that is tangible and increasing your finances, security, also laying a strong and sturdy foundation and allowing this to grow. Now, the full card coming in reverse, I will have to say here, this is somebody who's not taking chances, okay? You got the emperor at the bottom of the deck, Aries, there you are, boss status, right? But there's someone here who's not taking chances, yeah, Page of Cups here. Page of Cups in reverse is talking about... So Page of Cups upright is it can be intuitive messages, okay? Feelings, nudges that you get. And for that to come out in reverse, I'm getting this strong sense here that somebody is not listening to their intuition. And when I say that, I mean like, look at this. The hangman is here. So not listening to your intuition in the sense that you've been getting intuitive nudges, maybe dreams, maybe visions about to do something, to start something, to act on something, to take a leap of faith, and you're not doing it. And you're going to pass up an, a good opportunity here um, with the Ace of Cups here to have a new beginning and something that you really love to do that is going to make you a lot of money. This is the... Um, this is the thing here. This is the beautiful thing here. The fact that this um, hangman has come out. The hangman is a very spiritual card. When it comes out here for me in any sense, this means that it's not a protection card, but it almost means that it kind of is because it's like something is not moving forward. Something is stagnant. There's a pause. That pause is a protection for you to kind of get your stuff together. Okay. It's for you to see something from a different perspective for you to it's like spirit that is putting every, the break spirit is putting the brakes on everything so you don't miss this opportunity and that's a beautiful thing. Some people sometimes we get frustrated when we don't see things moving forward, but sometimes you have to stop and think that hey, maybe this is not moving forward because I'm not seeing something and spirit is giving me time to see it so I don't miss this opportunity. So if you're working on something currently, this could be a business, a job, something that you're trying to accomplish and you're not seeing any forward movement, Instead of looking at that as a hindrance or something that is hurting you or something that's not working out, take a look around and see if you're missing something, an opportunity, a, um, what do you call that? Um, why, why do I keep wanting to say co-creator? I keep wanting to say a co-creator, somebody that you can collaborate with. Okay. Somebody who could be right in front of your face. Um, Somebody who could be somebody who could want to invest in what you have going on. Somebody that you can learn from. Somebody that you can shadow. Okay, it could be something like that. I don't know. It just feels like not a missed opportunity yet, but something that you're not seeing. And I think that's the thing, the key here is that spirit is trying to get you to wake up and see something. Because whoever I'm speaking to, I feel like there has been signs 
and there has been opportunities for you to take a chance and you and you didn't. The beautiful thing is that there's still time. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. I'm gonna pull one more. I'm gonna pull a tea leaf. Excuse me. I'm gonna pull a um a kipper card for this. What do we have here for Aries? Yeah, the concern it came out in reverse. So I just feel like Aries, you don't there may be something here that's getting in the way. Could be a lover, could be a relationship, that is getting in the way from you starting this thing or taking this leap of faith. There could be a particular relationship. I'm gonna show you how this came out. There could be a particular relationship that is concerning in your life that could be causing this stagnation, this blockage, or for you to not be in alignment and to make take these chances or take these risks. So reevaluate if you need to. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. Take care.